Hi, and welcome to the Data Video CG200 training. This right here, we're going to be talking about the interface as well as some of the settings that you will um, encounter as you um, begin to navigate through this um, software. So, when you do open up the CG200 software, you will come to your, your preferences here, which is your mode. And this, in order to get the CG200 to work, you got to have a dual display. Your one monitor is your primary monitor, the program, the one you're working off of, and the other monitor being um, the graphics, what it's putting out through the output, which is done by the HDMI. So, with that, you got to make sure you have an approved graphics card for for it, or else you're going to have some very um, funny colors, some funny lines and all different stuff that goes through it. So make sure that you do have an approved graphics card. Otherwise, just make sure your settings here are set to the mode that your switcher is on. You want them to be the same exact mode. So in this case, we have it under 1080p 60. And, um, and also, if you noticed right here, these are really small icons. I don't really care for the small icons, so I like to use the larger icons. And all you have to do is right over here in the middle of this preferences box, just switch this over to use the large icons in toolbars, which does require a restart, which is no big deal. Just select it if you want to do that, and go to OK, and then you close down, and then open it up again. There we go. Now we have the bigger, bigger icons up there. And then when you open it up, you'll, you'll see this main window here with a couple other smaller windows within it. Um, so our main window is your, what you're working on right now, which is blank at the moment, just alpha. And then you have your Explorer window, the examples that come right on the CG200. And um, every time I select one of these, you see down here on the bottom, it shows you what your, which one you'd be loading up. If you want to actually load it up in this monitor, you would just simply double click on it. Since I am using a 1080p, I just double click on this one, and it'll load it up here. And then on this side of the window, you'll see the property page. By selecting on this, it suddenly becomes populated. So um, that's pretty much the basics of this whole thing. The, all these icons right here, you can get them up through here as well. Very simple um, interface. There's nothing too complicated about it. Very basic. It is free software in it, but it does do the job that you need it to do. Uh, so in the next lesson, we'll go over how to set some of this stuff up and what some of these um, property page, what it's all stuff means.